Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the system software has failed on your PlayStation 4. So if the update has failed, go to the PlayStation 4 and completely turn it off. Now, you can see there's a white light on top indicating my PS4 is turned on. I'm going to hold down the power button and then continue to hold it down for about 5 to 10 seconds and you will hear another beep. So I heard the second beep and my PlayStation 4 is going to completely 100% turn off. We don't want it into rest mode. If it doesn't turn off, I'll plug it from the wall outlet. Then what we could do is plug the controller in to the front of the PlayStation using a USB cable like this and wait for your PlayStation 4 to completely 100% turn off. Now with the PS4 turned off, there's no white light on here or anything. Hold down the power button again. We will hear one beep and about five to 10 seconds later, we will hear another beep indicating that we're launching the PlayStation 4 into the safe mode menu. Now go to your PS4 controller and press the PlayStation button and operate the menu with the D-pad and select with X. Then go on down to option number three, update system software. Now we have the option to update from a USB storage device. Go on to PlayStation.com and you can get the PlayStation 4 update file. You can update from disk. Otherwise, the easiest option is option number three, update using internet, select this and you can download the latest version of the system software and apply a fresh new copy. Also, if you are on the PlayStation, make sure that you have enough storage space on your PlayStation 4 hard drive to download the update. So if you are having a problem, delete a few games and then try updating your PlayStation 4. Otherwise, come to the safe mode, go to option number five, rebuild database, and this should fix any kind of like hard drive or corrupted data issues that you're having on your PlayStation 4. Otherwise, you do have option number six, initialize PlayStation 4, and this will delete all the data off your PlayStation, all your user accounts, and then it'll start your PlayStation like new. So come to the safe mode menu and you should be good to go. Hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your 6 Tech.